Hello, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. I'm who's crying? <laughs> yeah, who's crying? <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of jokes. It's way too long. Um, so I'm Keith Johnson. I'm the programmer at Jersey Jack. Uh, a quick little story. I ran into Larry DeMar at a uh, at a local party, you know, a couple weeks ago. And most of you know Larry. He's you know worked on all kinds of classics like Adam's Family, Twilight Zone, and, you know, all the way back to Black Knight and whatnot too. So I'm talking to him, and he's you know he's encouraging me and saying you've done a good job so far. You know he he did a whole system and game for Black Knight. Black Knight, I guess, was a was the uh, the start of whatever that was, System 3 or something like that back then. Um, so we did all the software for that and all the uh, all the game rules and whatnot for Black Knight. <coughs> and he's telling me, um, I can't imagine, you know, taking on the task that you're taking on because it's probably an order of magnitude more than, than what Black Knight was. And, you know, I think he's right. I mean, you know, they had... They didn't even have alphanumeric displays back then. You know, they just had the uh, seven-segment score displays. Uh, they didn't have, uh, you know, obviously didn't have the monitor. Uh, didn't have the sound capacity that we have. I mean, we basically have unlimited data for all of our, you know, graphics and sound. I mean, you know, it's it's you know, it's like 64 gigabytes, so it's not unlimited, but it might as well be unlimited compared to what's in games nowadays and what's been in games in the past. Um, you know, it is a lot to take on, you know, and it's taken, you know, a little over a year and a half into this thing so far, I guess, in earnest. Um, you know, there's, there's, things pop up, you know, it, things don't always go smooth. You know, the project, I'm pretty happy with where we're at at the moment. Um, you know, it's taken a while to get, to get our play field to the point where we're happy with it, to get our electronics to the point where we're happy with it. Um, but now everything is relatively smooth sailing. It's just a matter of cramming everything in. Everyone talks about how far along is the software. Well, you know, there's a lot of stuff that people don't know or don't really think about what's in the game. You have, you know, all the code to drive the display you have to worry about, all the code to take coins, all the, coin, all the code you have to write to just go from one ball to the next or one player to the next. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that has to get done before before you're actually playing rules in a game. So where it may not seem like much of a game at the moment, trust me, there's a lot of stuff in there, and now we're getting to the point where everything starts flying into the game. Um, but you know, we've had a really good reaction, as Joe was saying, with what we have so far. So you know. I, if, if you know some of the games I've worked on in the past, like Simpsons, as Joe said, and Lord of the Rings, and some others, you know, I think uh, I think you can have decent confidence that you know you'll probably wind up liking what's in the game. Um, the canvas is amazing. You know, the RGB LEDs are just a whole. You know, it, it, even that is a whole. It's maybe more than an order of magnitude greater than you know the Black Knight era of game. Um, you know, you can turn any insert to any color that you want. And then, you know, the light shows that result from doing that kind of thing, you know, it, the, the possibilities are almost endless at that point. So that's been a lot of fun to play around with. I think that, you know, it, it's going to be an experience that, that no one's seen before and no one's, you know, people just aren't, and people are going to be blown away by it. If you're blown away by it now, you're still like a whole other, level of blown away in this, you know, <laughs> coming out. Like that. <laughs> so, yeah, that, yeah, that, that's what we do. Blownawayness.com. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Who's> that website. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how far along is the software? Okay, so Joe said, you know, 20, 25 percent, you know, and rule-wise, that's probably about right, you know. Overall, for the entire project, you know, it probably is closer to 80 percent or so. Um, but yeah, the amount of software in there for actual rules is not that much. Uh, what kind of things can you look forward to? Well, you know, we have that little four quadrant display that you've seen, and that was a concept I had early on that evolved with uh, myself and JP, our, uh, you know, our guy in, um, in the Netherlands who's, uh, who's doing our display work, and uh, Greg Ferris helped as well. Um, so 
so we we have the the four things and the, the idea is to show you, you know, my my initial thought was when you have the monitor you don't want to show you don't want to just show one thing at a time mm -hmm. you want to uh, you, you want to sh you want to you want to give people an idea of everything that's available in the game at once you know if you if you just show one rule at a time you know it's why do you even have a monitor there you might as well just have a dot matrix display on there or whatever so by putting more things up there at once you know hopefully we give the idea to people that they're oh I don't have to just do this one thing I can shoot for rainbow targets or I can shoot for the haunted forest or whatever now so you have those four main things up there now envision as other things come along like you go down the yellow brick road or uh, you, you start playing around in the upper play fields with rescue and stuff like that. Now envision, you know, other things swooping into the display, you know, showing it, showing advancement, you know, the top lanes, you know, you go down the Oz lanes and something comes in and you're seeing that instead and then, you know, it goes away. And then you go down the Elbrick Road and something swoops in and shows you where you're at on there. So it's going to be a whole dynamic experience of things, you know, coming and going. Some things will be full screen, some things will be quarter screen. Your score will be always up there. You know, I know that Stern's taking some flack for that, but uh, you know, it's important. I mean, you know, casual players, they you know, they play for score. You know, they don't necessarily know the rules, so you want to be able to see your score up there all the time. And you know, I, you know, I don't know. I kind of disagree with with Stern moving away from that, but you know, that's up to them. Um, so you'll see the score always for us, and. And the low scoring, you know, that's a whole other, you know, topic for discussion, I guess. Our thought was that you can't, no one understands, you know, a billion points or a hundred million points or whatever, you know. People can kind of get, you know, 27,000 points or, you know, 100,000 points, even that might be kind of pushing it. But, you know, they, you can understand that realm of points. So, so we wanted a million to be a really, really good game, and that's you know <laughs> that's about where the score will be. Like in Lord of the Rings, for example, I consider a hundred million to be you know a pretty you know a really good game. So that would translate to about a million in Wizard of Oz. Uh, I don't think you know it's it's just different. You know I don't think it's wrong, or I don't think it makes the game less fun. And people have told me they they don't like it and. They can't really tell me why. It's like, oh, when I score a jackpot, I want to get a million points. Why do you want to get a million points? What's wrong with a thousand points? What's wrong with ten thousand points? You know, does it really matter? I don't think it does. So, you know, it's open discussion, I guess. But you know, I think that that's the way we're going to go, and I think people will get it. You know, and we have one point switches out of the game. Right. Exactly. Like one <laughs> you know, match match will be yeah. match will be one digit. You know, it's not going to be 10, 20, 30. It's going to yes, be one, it's going two, to be three, 32 four. cents a gallon again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in silver coinage. I give you a quick idea of some stuff that's coming up in the game. Um, you know, people all wonder about you know the total lanes you know down the right side. Uh, if you get that, it'll be a ball save feature where. You know, envision a Myra Gulch going down on her bike. Da -da 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 so if you make a shot within 10 seconds or so, then Toto jumps out and runs to Dorothy, and everyone's happy. Otherwise, you know, it's curtains and you're follow the train. Uh, <laughs> the no place like called the State Fair bumpers. You know, everyone. You know, I think most people like that. You know, that's down there and have a good time with it. You know, not only can the ball just go up on its own, up back up the outlet again. Yeah, which you maybe you see, maybe you haven't. Uh, if you complete it, then we're going to go back to Kansas. That all the colored lights are going to go away. Everything's going to be black and white and sepia, you know. And it'll be, you know, just a round that you'll play for a while. And if you get through it, then your game will keep going. And if you don't, then you know, try again next time, I guess. Uh, the the rescue the rescue feature uh, where you where the ball, wing monkey comes down and grabs the ball and brings it back up. Um, yeah, right now it's just kicking out, but the ball's gonna stay captive behind that door, and then you'll have to spell rescue on the upper play field, break down the doors by you know just whacking into them a few times, shoot it into the door, and you'll start rescue Dorothy multi ball. 
Um, there's, you know, the other multi balls in there already without rules. Emerald City, you know, spell the characters to light locks, shoot the ramp to lock three balls, start multi ball. Uh, so that you know, that's that's a little bit of what you can look forward to. You know, obviously more more surprises down the line, but you know, what your appetite's a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> So. Is there a knocker around the game? Yeah, you know, I think there is a real knocker, Joe. I, uh, you, know, it's been, you know, it's been a long time since the game has shifted the real knocker, and, you know, probably, probably since the mid-90s. It's, so. it's in an old place, too, right? Not up in the backslide. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's a shaker motor in the game, you know, that'll get implemented. Uh, Probably a bunch of other stuff I'm forgetting too, but you know, I guess we could have a Q and A and you know let people know about yeah. that. All right, so let's go up. We'll do.